And then the fifth article of faith is what's called the Qadr. And this is where we get into this is where we get into uh, debates and you know people can go on and on. This is an unsolvable problem, but I'll just give you an idea of how the Muslims traditionally have dealt with this. Qadr is in most books called predestination. The actual root word means a measuring out. A measuring out. Many verses in the Quran indicate that God has measured out everything. Everything has what it needs. Everything will fulfill its quality and characteristic. From the Muslim point of view, it is the qadr of Allah, the design of the human being. We have been measured, our symmetry, how the human being emerges. It is the qadr of Allah, how the lion uh, appears. All of these things are measured out. What is also measured out is one's provision in the world. Every human being has an appointed pr amount of provision. Now, it's interestingly that the Muslims generally say provision is not what you possess, but what you will use. So, for instance, Bill Gates, uh, who is a multi-billionaire, his provision is only that which he will use. So, if he has a house with a hundred rooms and he only uses three of them, that's what has been allotted to him. The other rooms are not part of his provision. Provision is related to what you will use. And that has been predetermined. Now, the obvious question that comes to people is, if things are predetermined, then where does will come into this? Where does the human being have will? From the Muslim perspective, the first thing that is, understand it, that is understood here is that had there not been an element of will here, then there would be no meaning to punishment and reward. It would be unfair, to, and this is why a child is not punished. right? Because the child does not have free will in the sense that it does not have a full understanding of its own capacities, its volition, its ability to do harm. A child does not understand that, whereas an adult does. The qadr then in relation to free will is that every human being will choose what they do in the action is the intention. So my intention in any action is what I earn. We are not judged according to the action alone. We are judged according to the intention within the heart related to the action. This is what the human being is judged upon. And the Prophet Muhammad in the first hadith in there said, إِنَّمَا الْعَمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ Actions are by intentions. Now the other thing is that the Muslims say is that no one has a sense that they're determined. There are obviously elements within our nature and our being that have a determination. We, I did not decide what color my skin was. I did not decide who my parents were. I did not decide where I would be raised and what language I would be given. There are definitely elements that we have no choice and these are called uh, wahbi. But then there are elements that we have choice which is called kasbi which is related to acquisition. And this is what we are taken to account for. Now in terms of good and evil, there is a belief here in the Qadr and in the Hadith in good and evil. Now the two words are khayr and sharr, which are very important. What time is it right now? 10.35. Okay. Can, why don't we take, uh, can we take like 10 minute break? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah.